stay put. Nose of a dog, the heart of a marine, sounds like a hero to me. Hello, I am Nathan. And I am Ilya. Frightening situations happen to everyone at some point. People can react in many different ways. They may feel nervous, have a hard time sleeping well, or go over the details of a situation in their mind. All these reactions are normal. On the other hand, post-traumatic stress disorder lasts a long time and may seriously disrupt a person's life. Thank you, Nathan and Ilya. I am in the park with Chris. He will tell us what unfortunately happened today. Thank you, Matthew. I got in a car crash today because uh, my en my car's engine stopped, Le leading to a speeding car hit me from behind. I was scared ever since. Chris, do you have some time? Because I have some questions to ask you. Sure. Um, when your car shut down, were you scared? A little bit, because I was in the middle of the 401, and I was about, and everybody was speeding be, behind me and and beside me, so I was a little scared. When the car hit you, were you frightened, angry, or all of them? I all of the above. All of the above, because first I was scared because I thought I was going to die, and I was shocked because I almost had a heart attack and I was I was very I was very scared because um I because it really hit me in the bumper and I was in my car and I couldn't get out. Thank you Chris for your for your time. Now back to Nathan and Ilya with the rest of the PTSD info. Thank you Matthew and Chris. That was a heartfelt story. That story has touched my heart. If you did not know, PTSD stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. This means that if someone goes through a bad event, they will continue to worry about it. You could pre prevent PTSD in two ways. You could be more careful, or you could be confident after the event happens. And trust me, that is very hard to do. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good day. This broadcast was brought to you by Nathan and Ilya. We're so proud of you both. Oh, you hear that, Max? Say hi. <laughs> Come say goodbye to your brother. Justin. Leave him be. I'm just over here dealing with a minor insurgency. He's trying to save the whole universe. I thought I was going to see you at work this morning, 8 a.m. and waste my summer. Dad, what are they doing here? <laughs> Max bonded so closely with Kyle, he can't work with anyone else. <laughs> are you sure you want to do this? I gotta go take care of that dog. Won't even let me touch him. I can come over and show you a few tricks. Ooh. Max just has to know that you want him. It's a start. So was Max like a bad dog? Max was as good a dog as ever passed through this facility. Animals can come down with post-traumatic stress the same as people can. Shh, Max, it's okay, it's okay. But now I'll tell a single Good truth. boy. There's you in everything I do. I want to tell you how sorry I am. Kyle was the best friend that I ever had. Tyler's someone you should stay away from. I'm talking about some bad business here. Your brother always wanted to be a hero. Look where I got him. What do you got in those crates? Dad's left a really weird message and just disappeared. So let's do this. Max, go search. Just a kid and his dog out there. Let's go. I'm not gonna leave here without my dad. We got the Air Jordan of dogs here, man. What do you want me to say?
we stay? Steve falls asleep. You've been out here all night? I don't want to talk about it. 